Hello everyone, welcome back to Lawrence Plays, and today we're playing Manhunt Checkpoint. And that means I'm bimbling around the city trying to take some checkpoints, and the hunters are driving around trying to stop me. Um, now normally, the hunters drive really garish, brightly coloured cars, which makes them really, really obvious to me, and also makes them really, really obvious to each other. However, this time, they're all going to be driving normal vehicles. They're going to grab them off the street, as they as they have been a lot recently. But instead of recolouring them in their personal colours, they're just going to leave them in the natural spawn colours. So, this means that any car I see could have a hunter in it. Now, there are a couple of provisos. They're not allowed to drive sports or supercars. Um, but other than that, any vehicle I see could be a hunter. So that's going to make me a bit more paranoid, um, but I'm hoping it's going to lead to them having quite a lot of friendly fire incidents where they ac where one hunter accidentally shoots another because they don't realise that they're um, they're both hunters essentially, and they go, "Aha! That car's driving suspiciously. Let's shoot them." I don't I don't know if that's going to happen, but I do I'm, I don't have much confidence they're going to accidentally shoot each other. But I think it's quite likely that they'll accidentally chase each other a little bit or ram each other around. And hopefully that's going to give me enough of an edge that it'll make, make it things a bit easier for me. We shall see. That I've seen that red motorbike a couple of times now, so I'm a bit suspicious of that. I have noticed that a couple of the hunters do like motorbikes. And they make quite good sort of scouting vehicles. So it makes a sort of sense for them to be using them. So I'm going to keep an eye out for that one. I haven't identified... Yeah, that one there. Yeah, it's on the wrong side of the road. That's definitely a player. Okay, so... I'm going to go right on red here. Because I believe you're allowed to. Um, and I'm going to loop around the block here and attempt to get around to that checkpoint from not on the main road that the hunters are clearly guarding. I saw another hunter there. I, I didn't. I didn't identify. I didn't spot what car he was in, which is sort of a, just a little bit of a failing of mine there. Um, I should have tried to recognise it and just sort of keep keep track of what they're using. So so far, I've identified the red motorbike, and there was another car there. I think it was a bluey greeny colour, but I'm I'm really not sure. I was concentrating too hard on on being evasive, <laughs> which is not ideal. We're also playing with the uh, the new rule where if the um, if a player is driving a, a a worse than coupe class vehicle, so that means a um, not a not not a sports, not a super, not a coupe, then they get bulletproof tyres, and that's quite a big help because one of the hunter's favourite ways of stopping me is shooting out my tyres, which makes the chase a little bit easier for them because I can't run very well. So I'm in. This is a muscle. This this count. This this truck counts as a muscle truck, um, and that means that means it's a class that is worse than coupe. And so I and so I have bulletproof tyres. They can't shoot my tyres out, which will make a nice change because they always seem to do that. <laughs> so we'll see. Yeah, we'll see if that helps me much. It does mean I'm in in a slower car than I would be otherwise. But it also. But it does mean. But I think it's probably worth it for the um, for the bulletproof tyres. Right, let's see. Casino Bridge. Now, I tried taking this in the last run we did, and it didn't go so well. I did a bit of car switching, but I got spotted as I was approaching it somehow. I'm not quite sure what I did wrong at that point. But I did something wrong, or at least or they got lucky, one way or the other. And um, and I got attacked, and, and, sh and my tyres got shot out, and then I ended up not being able to get away because of that. <clears throat> so, hopefully this time I'll do a bit better. I'll get up there and I'll manage to take the checkpoint without too much harassment. We shall see. So as before, let's keep an eye out for cars behaving suspiciously and weirdly, because that probably means they're hunters. And then I need to, and I need to, and if I can learn if I can get a bit of an idea of what vehicles the hunters are using, then potentially it'll make it a bit easier for me to to avoid them. So there's another one of those red motorbikes, or there is a red motorbike, but that's behaving sort of fairly, fairly normally. So I'm not too suspicious of that one. Yeah, buddy. You'll never guess who I just showed around a house. The hunters should be fairly obvious, I think. Although it depends. There, are, there, are, there are two ways this could go. We could either find that the hunters just drive around as normal, sort of 
flinging their cars around like lunatics all over the place, just as if, as if they were, um, basically as if they, as if, playing the game perfect in, in, in a perfectly normal way, or they might try and be sneaky, and um, and, and drive around, um, in a more, and drive around with some of, with at least some of them obeying traffic laws and things like that, and trying to blend in with other cars around. And if they're doing that, then they'll be very, very difficult to spot. Because there are a lot of guys. It basically means I have to try and play as a hunter as well as playing as a prey. Which is going to be very, very complicated. Um, okay, well, there's one of them clearly being a uh, clearly being a hunter. So we've seen a red motorbike. We've seen a red oracle. Now, there's obviously no, there's no guarantee that the um, the hunt the, that wasn't the same hunter in, in both of those cars. But they... I don't know. I feel like they'll probably find a car they like and stick with it until they've beaten it up enough that they want to change. I don't know how much, how, how sure I can be of that. It just, it's just a feeling I've got. So yeah, potentially red motorbike, red oracle. Let's keep my eyes peeled for anything else that's sort of behaving suspiciously. That motorbike rider has a helmet on, so I think that's probably. A, gen uh, a genuine AI player, a genuine AI character, for want of a better word. But again, can't be sure. Put it behind him. Right, I've got a choice now. I can either go, I could go straight on and then go around the block to, uh, across, uh, across two blocks and then come back in to take the checkpoint, or I could go right here and then go straight in towards the checkpoint. There it is. You can just just see it around the, around the edge of that building. Um, I don't know. I feel like I've done a lot of trying to be subtle and going into checkpoints from a slightly odd direction. So I think this time I'll go straight towards it, or I could go, I could go right and then left and then a couple of rights. Let's go, let's go right first and see see how it goes. See how I feel. See how I feel about this. See if I can see any other car, hunter cars driving around suspiciously as well. That's another another thing to watch out for. I'm getting into a queue of traffic here, though, actually. I don't like that. Queues of traffic tend to spawn around players, um, especially if you're driving sensibly and obeying traffic laws. Oh, there we go. That's a that's a blue oracle. They're, they're very team oracle today. That's um, I mean, I can't fault them too much for that, given my, as uh, previously established, um, fondness for the oracle. Because it is, there's, there's, lots, there's always lots of them around. And it's a coupe, so it's a reasonably good car. So... I don't know how much I, can, I can't really criticise them for that, but um, it seems slightly unimaginative, especially given the variety of vehicles we've seen in previous runs. Oh, they're shooting. That's not such a good thing. Yield. There's nothing coming. That means I can just go. And what was I yielding to? I got my own lane. Uh, let's stay over here, actually. Then I can do the right turn on a red thing. There are some very suspicious cars around here. Right. Thing is, though, it's I've now got the problem that they always have, where I don't know whether a car is being suspicious because it's driven by a player, or whether it's just an AI being a bit weird. And they always have that problem, and they talk about it quite a lot. Um... And now I'm having the same problem as well, which is sort of a, a pleasing irony, I guess. <laughs> okay, let's wait at this red light and see if we can find out where I'm supposed to be going next. Oop, they're shooting. I mean, is it close enough for me to panic? There's a red oracle. Should I be paranoid about that red oracle? I don't think I should. I think that was driving like an like an AI. So I'm going to try and control myself for now. That's a Futo. That's technically a sports car, so they're not going to be in that one. I say technically a sports car because it fits. It's in the sports class, but it's a terrible vehicle that doesn't belong in that class at all. Probably should be a compact or something. I don't know. But it, uh, yeah, it, it doesn't doesn't really deserve it. So we've got. Oh, that's quite a good one in front. Mm, it's tempting to switch into that car, but um, this muscle truck has done me quite well so far. I think it's reasonably subtle, and it means I'll have the bulletproof tyres. So I'm going to hang on to this rather than switching to that. Is that a Schwarzer or a Shafter? Because I think the Shafter is a, is a sedan and therefore will get me all of the bonuses and would be a really, really good choice. 
The Schwarzer is a sports car though, so it wouldn't get me the bonuses. Wouldn't get me the wouldn't get me the bulletproof tires. And therefore less worthwhile. Uh let's not hang around here, because I'm miles away from the checkpoint. I want to cover a bit of cover a bit of ground, but ooh, that's a green light, that's convenient. Take that. Okay, I'm not gonna go for beach this time, because I've struggled with beach quite a lot recently. I think I don't I don't have a good feel about it today. So I'm going to go for Chinese Monument, which I haven't tried to take so far. However, they're both in the same general direction, so I might decide as a, if I get to Chinese Monument and there are hunters crawling all over it and they're being really... I want to say obnoxious, it's not quite the right word. If they're just sort of covering it and being difficult, then I'll uh, maybe not go that way. That's that red motorbike. The guy, the guy does have a helmet on, though, which makes me think it's not a player. But... I do feel like I've seen that a lot of times now, and I did see a red motorbike being um, all over the place earlier, so... I don't know. Come on, give me a green light. Don't want to just sit here. Do. Hunters are still shooting, so they obviously think they can see something. Uh... That was almost a almost a green light. <laughs> this one's definitely a red though, so I better stop here. Alright. This 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 does make me paranoid. Um There's a guy taking a photo of me. Not sure what that's got. Oh! There we go. That's what I was hoping would happen. <laughs> Mike has just shot Ed. Um because he thought he presumably because he thought he was me. It was a car looking sort of generally suspicious, so um blam. And because we have the retribution rule in um, in our uh, man, in our checkpoint games or in our manhunt manhunt games in general, that means if one hunter shoots another hunter, both hunters die. Uh, in fact, one hunter kills another hunter, whether it's run them over, shoot them, whatever. Both hunters are uh, then taken out of the game temporarily as a sort of a, a punishment, a sort of go and sit in the corner and think about what you did kind of thing. Um, because they're supposed to be on the same side, they're not supposed to shoot each other. <laughs> um, and we originally implemented it as a sort of, as a, um, that was odd driving behaviour, but, I mean, it's, they're turning right on a red, which is, is allowed, so maybe, maybe they're not, hunt maybe they're not hunters, I don't know. Um, yeah, we originally introduced it to stop the hunters just sort of finding roughly where the prey was, and then just spraying wildly into the, into the, into the, uh, in anything that was in the, in the general area, vicinity of the prey. With no sort of no no concern for other hunters' lives, um, because we because it was sort of we, we thought that make things a bit more um, a bit more interesting and make the hunters be a little bit more careful. But I think actually they um, they kill each kill each other more often in random friendly fire incidents than they do in um, sort of when when they're attacking me as well. So <laughs> I'm which I'm perfectly happy with. It's uh, it, it, it it thins the hunters out a little bit at least for a, for a short time. I heard tyres behind me, but I don't. Ooh, it's green light. Let's keep going. Um, there is some. There is some shenaniganry happening behind me. I think there are hunters in the in the vicinity. I mean, of course there are hunters in the vicinity. I've got a big circle guiding them to me, and I'm approaching the checkpoint. So yeah, of course they'll be around. But that was definitely one of them behind me. I think that blue car. Yes, that bluish, blacky bluey car in front of me is also a hunter. I'm all over the place. So I'm trying to dodge AI vehicles. Which isn't helpful. Okay, here we are. There's a red light. I'm going to have to stop there. Here then. Yeah, I mean, look at that driving going on ahead of me. There's definitely some hunters doing shenanigans over there. Um, they're going away from me though, which is nice. Um, I don't know what the circle. I never know what the circle's doing. We've we've tried playing playing with the circle visible to the prey as well to see if that's interesting. And it it certainly is interesting. That. Okay, that hunter is is on a motorbike with a helmet. That's that is also interesting. Maybe they've managed to. Maybe it's the thing. If you sit there or sit on a bike still for long enough, then you get a hel free helmet from somewhere. I don't know. Uh, that was not a very smooth junction. Thing. Ooh, green light. That's convenient. Um, but it's getting me out of here. I, see a, I saw a red oracle behind me. I also saw a motorbike. I'm, I'm just getting paranoid every vehicle I see now. I'm afraid it might be a hunter. 
I mean, that was the whole point of doing this, was to get me more paranoid and more terrified. But, um, yeah, all I can say is that it seems to be working. <laughs> Shopping centre jump and North Wind. Well, they're both, off in that, they're both off in that direction. They're very, very close together, actually. I wonder if I can get myself into a position so that the circle's over both of them. That'd be quite nice. Get the hunters second-guessing where I'm, what I'm going for. I'm surprised this this truck has lasted so long without any harassment to be honest maybe it's a sort of I mean because they know that I they know that I like to drive fast cars um, I often I, in, in the older runs I tend to take coupes because they would give me a chance against the hunters um, give me a, pot, a, bit, a little, little bit of a chance because we were then on the equally uh, equally spec'd cars We've now changed the rules that I am allowed to drive sports cars, and I'm allowed, to, or rather, I'm a, more importantly, I'm allowed to take checkpoints in sports cars. So they're probably expecting me to be using sports cars quite a lot because why wouldn't I use the best cars that are available? So this um, Picador is a bit of a double bluff there. Um, it, or a bit of a sort of a, a bluff, a single bluff, a break, breaking of expectations. I don't know. It's me doing. It's me using something other than what they'd expect. In the hope that it um, makes me a bit more, um, a bit more hidden, a bit more subtle, a bit harder to, harder to recognise. But it does also get me the, um, the advantage of having the bulletproof tyres, and and the bulletproof tyre thing. Well, that was clearly a hunter. Um, I don't think I, and I probably shouldn't have driven over that poor guy. Um, <laughs> but yeah. What is he doing? And that, again, clearly a hunter. Oh, he's gone away. Okay. Um. Right. So that was... <laughs> Sorry, I, I, I did the thing where I um, I get worried about a, about the hunters and, um, and, and go rather quiet. Um, yeah, so we had two hunters come flying through there. They killed the... Um, mo killed the biker as they were on the way past and then the other hunter on the bike turned up and I guess there was a bit of sort of discussion maybe there was some discussion in the hunter chat as to whether the um, the bike lying on the floor was uh, or could have been could have been caused by me so you had a, had a bit of a look to investigate and to, to think about whether it was oh, there's a lot of shooting going on um, yeah cars are panicking let's do that so what I plan to do is go up here to nudge the circle. I don't know if I've nudged the circle, but I'm hoping I have. Then head round here and head back down again and take the shopping centre one. It remains to be seen how well this works. I'm hoping and expecting to see the hunters come flying up this hill. I haven't yet. Do I need to go further up in order to nudge the circle? Oh, come on. Oh, yep. There's one of them. Right, okay. So the, the circle is, at the very least... What is that comet doing? That comet can't be a hunter. Because they're not allowed to drive comets, because they're sports cars. That was very strange. Um, yeah, so I think that probably means I've nudged the circle up that way now. So I can now make a bid for the um, shopping centre jump checkpoint. Now, that's the nice thing. When checkpoints are this close together... You can try and do clever, sneaky stuff like making the circle look like I'm going for one when I'm actually going for the other. The problem is now I don't know whether I don't know whether the circle's going to trip back down again. There's something going on there. Yeah, that car with the door missing is clearly a hunter. I mean, look at the way it's driving, and it's got a door missing. You know, there are these little clues. <laughs> What's going on though? The drivers of the other cars got out. I I don't know what's going on there, but it's a bit it's a bit worrying because there's hunter hunter shenanigans going on nearby. But he's given up on that one now. Okay. Is that red that red car is being suspicious as well? I think I can hear the cargo bob. That's the traffic light. <laughs> I can hear it, and that makes me paranoid. Green light makes me paranoid because. I know the pilot of it wants to try and pick me up. Now, that's going to be virtually impossible in a chase. But I think he wants to try nonetheless. 
Okay, I'm just going to take this and go straight. That's some poor lane discipline. And it's probably going to get me noticed. There's another dead motorbike there. Okay. Let's go down this way and turn. That isn't a turn. That white car is a hunter. It's attacking random vehicles around here. That's bad. Oh, it missed me though. Maybe they just don't expect me to be driving a pickup truck? I don't know. Whatever it is, this seems to be going pretty well though. I... I don't know, I've been using this... Picador for so long now. I feel that I feel it must be kind of burned. What's that? Is it What was that? Is that the comet? Where's that coming from? I don't know. Yeah, I've been using this Picador for so long, I feel it must be burned by now, and therefore I feel I should be using something else. But it's done me so well. I just don't really want to change. There's only one checkpoint left as well, so we're getting... Ooh, that's a nice car. Want that one. <laughs> but wouldn't be able to take a checkpoint in it, so there's probably no point. Right, okay, so I've got a choice here. I can either go over to Five Ways, or I can go to Airport Spaghetti. Now, Airport Spaghetti is a good one to go for, because... Of... Okay, there's the cargo bob. Just generally humping some cars over there. Let's, let, let's, let's leave. Um... Airport Spaghetti is a good one to go for because there's a lot of different ways to take it, to, to take the checkpoint. So it is a, it is sort of a personal favourite for that reason. They're going to expect that to an extent though, so I can't really do the bait and switch of, of trying to go for one checkpoint and then taking the other one with Airport Spaghetti and Five Ways because they're so far apart. But I'm very close to Five Ways. It's like two junctions over. So it's very tempting to just go for that one and then try and just try and get the game, try and finish, try and get, try and try and get a win in, which would be nice because it's been so blum and long since I've won one of these. That's a bit of a minibus fail there. I mean, I'm I'm assuming that's a hunter because nobody else drives quite that badly. Uh, conveniently, the light went green at just the right time. Okay, so I need to cross this bridge here. Is that minibus still following me? No, it's not. Now, I don't know if one of them would actually drive a minibus. It's too terrible a vehicle for me to think they'd seriously consider it. But then I've seen them driving all kinds of ridiculous things because they thought it was funny. So... I'm not going to say no, never. I'm not going to say there's no chance, but it seems unlikely. And what we've seen so far, we've seen motorbikes and oracles mostly. Um, I'm trying to think what else we've seen. Has there been anything else? Um, have I seen them driving anything terrible? I don't. I haven't noticed. I don't remember noticing. Now this is this is. This is me relying on both my observational skills and my memory, so <laughs> we're not doing, not going to be doing too well here, but um, not going to be in with much of a chance. But I don't remember them driving any actively bad vehicles um, in this particular run, so I'm going to guess that minibus probably wasn't one of them, um, but we'll see. I'll ask them later. I'll ask them when we finish. And finish is going to come fairly soon, one way or another, because that's, this is the last checkpoint. I've got a green light to go through and take it. And now we have final, final hunt, where I just need to get a, a distance. I need to get a distance away from them for a certain amount of time. So I'm just going to run some red lights here, get, ram a, um, a comet out of the way, apparently, um, and then go up here and just, yeah, I. The fi so the point of the final hunt is for me to sort of prove that I've escaped from the hunter, that they're not sort of right behind me and in, in, we're not currently in a chase. So I have to get a certain, dis a, a certain distance away from them for a certain amount of time. And 
And I think the certain distance is something like 500 metres. It's not a hugely long distance. It's just prove you're not in a chase. And the time is 20 seconds or something like that. So it's, it's not an enormously difficult thing to do if I'm not in a chase. Um, which is, obviously is, is, is the point of it. Um, but if they're chasing me, then they'll be on my tail. They'll be closer than 500 meters. It'll be it'll be relatively easy for them to stay within those within that spec. And sometimes I've have fled sort of halfway across the um, halfway across the island because they've been in an actual chase. They've identified me as I leave the checkpoint. Sometimes I've almost been able to just sit at the checkpoint and um, and and pick up a win because I because they've um, but because they haven't identified me and they've all driven off looking for me and I've just sat there going well. <laughs> just waited there um so yeah at the moment i guess i'll drive i'll drive over towards the casino um see how this goes and if necessary then maybe i'll go through mirror park and down through industrial towards the um towards the docks but i don't think i'm going to get that far before the game ends because it ten just tends to be that the final hunt ends reasonably ends relatively relatively quick, quickly one way or another they either catch me or i escape it's not it's not supposed to drag out particularly long of course if they happen to just be going in the same sort of direction as me it could go for a while um and i'm sort of hoping that won't happen because it's a it's a i'm not going to call it tedious but it's a little bit yeah oh and if they come up here and then I'm going to see the enormous numbers of cars. This is what I was talking about before. Players tend to get surrounded by a lot of cars, especially if they're obeying the traffic laws, because they just sort of accumulate around you, and it's a bit of a mess. Um... Oh no, there we go. I've won. <laughs> Phew! Thank you very much for watching. This has been uh, Lawrence Wins uh, Manhunt Checkpoint. Ah, that makes that's a, that's a, makes a nice change. Hope you've enjoyed it, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you for watching. So, as a note, I am on a red bike. I'm in a wretched oracle again. That blue car there just did a massive weird swerve. Country cop, okay, country cop, that might be built full of room. Time's not quite right. No voice line. Did he just take a. Did somebody blow up or did he take a checkpoint? Hey. He took a checkpoint. Yeah. Around in the car and they were shooting. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's not good. Voiceline. Was there a specific spot where the cargo boat taking on? it? Taking it. Think heading north. Sorry. Peach got squished. <laughs> I think I don't this mode makes it harder for us than for him, right? That's the point. He's had a. It, Beach is a little bit hemmed in. But there's only one real way out. But two, I suppose. Oh, right. Take I'm heading west, but I don't, no, I don't think he. Uh, is. fast car heading north, I think. There were shots just a moment before. Yeah. Ah, He's not headed east. As far as I'm aware.
I'll be honest, I'm not convinced that if he's going to be driving sports cars, that this uh, van is a good idea, that this cement truck is a good idea. Uh, just FYI, uh, North Winewood is also in circle. Wait, I'm just going outside the circle and then come back in again. Just taking it. Just taking the north one. Did you guys see anything? Nope. Oh, there were too many cars. Is that Take a that came south. Is there a once or when a silver, what looks like a comet? Shouldn't be in a comet. There is a black muscle car. Oh, fuse like maybe. Westbound on the middle road. No, he'd have left by now. Oh, right. uh, no, NPCs get out. I think I have him. Oh, oh no, that's an NPC, she got out. The other one too. Never mind. <laughs> 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 uh, I hope he saw that. Yeah. I will bet you he's heading south at this point. It's basically, where would he not be? And that means that the hunters can sort of use the um, use the cars they're seeing around them to try and guess where I am. So if they see if they see lots of pink cars, then they can then they know that I'm somewhere in that general area. If they don't, then they know I'm further, probably further away. Probably. Um, now there are some sort of funny edge cases in this. Like if they see if if I get completely surrounded by hunters, for example. Then cars will. Then I'll be. Then all the cars will potentially be in their colours because there won't be any spawning in because of me. I'm pretending I'm. I'm a panicking AI at this point. I'm not doing a very good job of it. Let's move. Super Diamond is quite heavy, but he's also quite clunky. So. I think I should be able to escape from it reasonably easily. I'm in a better car than they are. Oop. <laughs> As you saw then, by the way, they pulled up to me but couldn't quite ram me. So. Oh, good grief. <laughs> so I've got... Yes, I have... Uh, that's Max in the blue car and Pete in the green car both chasing me. Uh, I'm in a sports car, so I should be able to do slightly better than them at this, um, at this running away malarkey. Um... So, I sh yes, I shouldn't have too much difficulty getting away. However, there are two of them, and, oh, and they're possibly better drivers than me. They will also be giving out guidance to the other hunters to tell them where I am, where I'm going. And so that means that the hunters will be um, potentially potentially setting up roadblocks and things like that if they, if they, if they, get, if they get the time for it. Um, but at the very least, they'll be um, generally trying to get in my way and cutting me off and that sort of thing and just generally yeah generally trying to catch me and stop me now if I was driving slightly better I'd be away by now but um, due to all those crashes I've been having Max is still right behind me so I'm gonna have to keep going and ooh, drive a little bit better than I currently am ideally um, let's see how this goes uh, I'm gonna head back into town because I think the main advantage the sports car has over the um, over the super diamond is that it can Accelerate more quickly away from corners and things. Um, as long as I don't hit lampposts. And it can take corners a bit more quickly as well. So as you saw, he spun out there and had all kinds of nightmares. So that's got me away. And I can now use the speed of the sports car to sort of put a bit of distance down. And head over here and try and... And then... Actually, let's head a bit further away than this. And then I want to switch to a different car. One that they haven't seen. One that isn't sort of battered around and broken. 